everybody, this is Allie, and welcome to Coffee with Allie. And today I have two cosplayers, Maze Create, as my guests, Matt and Evelyn. And we are going to be speaking to the photographers this time. And Matt and Evelyn are going to be sharing their top 10 tips that photographers need to think about when working with a cosplayer. So let's get started. Okay, so tip number 10, Evelyn. So, uh, logistics. So, where we're gonna meet, what we need to bring, do I need to have my hair done, my makeup done, things like that. Yeah, and also a lot of times, models ask me a lot of questions. We need to think about what do they need to know? And that's what I think they're asking about with logistics. Yes, Yeah. absolutely. Thank you. Um, tip number nine. Uh, willingness to try new stuff. Uh, we're constantly building new projects all the time, trying new characters out, new costumes, and so we really want to push the photographers to go to new locations, try different lenses, different lights, all kinds of cool stuff like that. What about Photoshop? That's really up to you guys and how good we you are at it. We asked you to do a comic book recently. I forgot. Yeah. No, yeah. We, we did the, um, with, uh, uh Shelly from The Jungle Nook. Uh-huh. Yeah, and we asked you to do the Photoshop on the eyes. Uh, Catwoman. Right? Catwoman. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah! That was fun! Uh, it'll be floating over our heads. Okay. Somewhere. <laughs> and we may have to just run right over our faces with <laughs> that one. There's a lot of us here. <laughs> okay, well, what about tip number eight? Show okay. us the back of the camera. So, uh, we, you know... On this end of the camera, we I have no idea what I look like half the time. I'm just kind of, like, I hope I'm not in an awkward pose. And so just kind of showing us the back of the camera helps me think of, like, oh, I need to move my elbow back or, you know, things like that. I want to say also what I found with that, and I think um, all photographers should show the model the back of the camera. Because, and I take a turn in occasion and I model. So this way I understand what it's like to not know what the pictures look like. And it sucks. So I'm just going to say that also I can use that if somebody is doing something that's not working and I try and I try to tell them how to pose and they just keep doing it wrong, it's because they don't understand what's happening. So I show them the back of the camera and I say, look, here is not really what we're going for, but, and then I'll show them when they got kind of close, this is what I'm looking for. And then they get that visual. So I think this is a, this could have been a much lower tip, but they've got such good tips that it wound up number eight. Speaking of number nine, though, you said that you cosplay occasionally. Photographers also want to cosplay so they can understand what we go through. We're totally willing to accept them as well. Thank you. Yeah. You're so good to us. <laughs> She's so, so giving. So what would tip number seven be? Um, this is kind of my personal preference is I kind of like a preview shot. Um, I know, you know, a lot of photographers want to spend a lot of time, you know, editing some of the photos. Um, but like, you know, within 48 hours, if you guys could maybe, you know, if you're nice enough, send us one just so that we kind of have it for our, just to look at. Or maybe if there's like a close family member, we just want to show off sometimes. Um, and then we would communicate with you guys if we were allowed to post it online or not. Um, you know, no rush, but just something to show off our hard work. Okay. I understand. And, and, and I think 48 hours is reasonable. Mm -hmm. If you wanted it the, that night that... You might be asking a lot, but mm -hmm. two days is pretty easy. Mm. Okay, tip number six. This is a good one, and I think a lot of photographers just get so caught up in their settings, they might forget this. Uh, so this is to communicate when to move. Uh, so this is important because if I'm in a pose, I don't know if you've got the right settings and if you've got the picture you wanted, or if I need to move to another pose. And you're, you know, sometimes they're just like clicking away. And I'm like, well, you just got a hundred pictures of me like this, so hope you like it. <laughs> right, right. And, and yeah, they don't know what's going on. They don't know if you got the shot. They don't know if you're still dialing something in. So we need to be sure to communicate with them. Hey, you can move now. <laughs> yeah. Try something else. So that's all that is. Um, tip number five. 
Um, well, my favorite is to laugh at my jokes, specifically <laughs> our jokes. Um, <laughs> Sorry. <I'm> it's, a, <laughs> it's sort of a smaller picture of a bigger picture in the sense that, like, we want our photographers to have a personality. We, we have a personality, and we want to work with you guys, and we want to make jokes. We want to have something that's fluid. You know, that, and then it opens up communication so that we could try new stuff together. It establishes a relationship. Yeah. Yeah, it's very similar to when we had the photographer tips with models, and we said, bring your personality, but don't be a diva. Same thing, I don't think you want a diva photographer. They're not fun. So what is tip number four? So we just appreciate that if we provide um, some our, of our character personalities or uh, provide research for you that uh, photographers look over what we provide, sometimes they're just like, We'll hand them something or we'll post online about our character and they're just like, that's nice, all right, so what's about your character? And I'm like, well, I just, just told you. <laughs> I'm going to add in on this one. Um, I always ask people who they are. I try to ask for reference images. But another thing I do is I Google their character. Yeah. Because some I learned this early on. I, I shot Sierra the very, very first time as Maleficent. And I was like, wow, she'd be cool with some smoke. Well, I'd never seen the damn movie. I didn't Google it. I gave her purple smoke. She gets green smoke. Oh, I didn't know that. She does not get purple <clears throat> smoke. So I, my, one of my friends sends me a message, uh, Ellie, you know, Maleficent, you're supposed to do green smoke. And that was when I went, well, let me go look at the Google. So this is an important thing. Like, you know, I've also <clears throat> seen people where uh, Game of Thrones and they made them look bright and airy and I'm like no this should be gritty and dramatic so as a photographer these cosplayers have put together a look and they want the photography to represent that look and I yeah. think that's what this tip is about which is why it was tip number four and that way you don't have orange spider-mans <clears throat> well yeah that's true but that was cool all right so what <clears throat> would tip number three be um, reliability is really big for us and it should be for photographers as well. Um, how we tend to be reliable is we give updates, you know, maybe two hours beforehand, an hour beforehand, and basically when we're leaving. And because Google Maps is really good at telling you when you're going to arrive, we generally give and say we're going to be here almost this time. That way, even if we're running, you know, 15 minutes late, photographers know exactly when we're going to be there and they're ready to go. The other thing is that from the photographer side, I like to confirm at least the day before, two weeks before, hey, how are we doing on this shoot? Does anybody have any questions? You know, is there anything you guys want me to know? And that's part of the reliability is because they know I remember that we're doing this and that they're not just driving somewhere and nobody's confirmed. That's not good. Yeah. Okay. Tip number two. Uh, so for tip number two is uh, knowing how you can collaborate on ideas. So... Um, I know that you covered this briefly on your first uh, episode, but you had talked about, you know, like knowing how to collaborate and um, having that open communication. I've, I've worked with a photographer before and, uh, you know, it was, I, I had the impression that there was a little bit of freedom for the character and um, everything that I would be like, hey, let's, what if I do this? What if I do that? And they were just like... I don't really like that. I don't really like that. I don't really like that. So I really just kind of got put in a situation where it was just like, okay, this is what you're doing. And I feel like I had like little input. And so on idea collaboration, I think this is critical. Um, photographers, I know you may have a vision, but they have a vision too. And especially when we're talking about a collaboration shoot, you need to think about both sides of that collaboration. So I may not really like their idea, but I'm still going to shoot it for them. I've shot plenty of stuff that I've been like, whatever. And sometimes I surprise myself and I'm like, okay, okay, this actually worked out better than I expected. So, yeah, I think this is critical. And if you're really into it, use a Pinterest board. And oh, then yeah. you really mm -hmm. get on the same page. Yeah. So, what is the number one tip that cosplayers want photographers to know? <clears throat> Well, if you put us in front of a camera, we don't know where our hands are, we don't know where our head is, we don't know where our body is. So we generally want you guys to give us really good directions on where to put everything. You know, I need to know where my hands are going to be. See, just like right now. Um, you know, tips on where you want them to be, spacing, that kind of stuff is really good for you guys and it's really good for us. Also, I know that you've covered this in some of your workshops, you know, the white of your eyes. 
Um, sometimes when they're just shooting Matt, I'll get behind the photographer and I'll be like, Matt, look over here, look over here, look over here, because, you know, he doesn't know where to, to look. Yeah, I've always need to be posed. You don't want someone's gooey white eyes prominent. You really need to get light into the eyes. And also you want to watch, if you're shooting tight, that you're not cropping like a hand. I'm trying to do it on the front, the thing. A hand out of frame. <laughs> you don't want to be cropping um, a floating head. You know, you want some shoulders. And and maybe the cosplayer, maybe you're in a tight spot. And maybe you need to have the cosplayer move a little bit. Let them know. They, they move. Yeah. They move. I like um, how Dan, he, he'll, he'll be like, this is your shoulder. And then he'll, like, he won't even touch you, but he'll be like, this is your shoulder, move it this way. Well, what do you guys feel about it when somebody touches you for posing you? Mm -hmm. Nobody's really touched us before. Oh, well, that's <laughs> good. They, they should they ask do. if they do. Um, yeah. You know, if it's a photographer, I know they're coming in, so it's no big deal. Um, I mean, if they came out of nowhere, then yeah, I'd probably be freaking out. But, like, you know, that's kind of that relationship you have with the photographer. I you know, When they laugh at our jokes. Yeah. That, yeah. So that wasn't really a tip, but it's still a good thing to throw <laughs> in. So, that's our ten tips for photographers when you're working with a cosplayer. And um, if you have any questions or if you have any comments or another tip that you want to share, throw it in the comments. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe if you haven't already and hit the little bell so you can notified. And um, thank you so much for joining us for Coffee with Allie. <laughs> <laughs> Is she taking a video of this? <laughs> pop, pop the butt. Pop that butt. There you go. Good job. We got to give him direction. Do the smirk. <laughs> show my dominance here with the whole phone. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we were, oh, we're recording right now. <laughs> yes, we are recording. Oh. Pretend me. Um, it would definitely be... <laughs> we can start over. We can start over. I was going to roll with it. <laughs> right. Tip number four. That's you. I can't read it. Character personality. Oh, oh, right. Okay, we can right. start again. Let's start again. Okay.